Hi, everybody. Uh, Matt Bell is with LCI and Good News, Bad News. And with me is the great Tom Woods. Tom, you're a wonderful podcaster, great speaker. You just gave a, a wonderful speech here at, uh, at this event with the BC Caucus. You were talking a lot about what we can do almost practically here in the now to really live in terms of lives of liberty. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, I talked about first the 10th Amendment Center, which if you don't yep. know about, you've got to look into. Mike Meharry, he's a great guy with Mike us. Mike Meharry is a great guy, yep. yep. And they do practical things on the state level yeah. to try to push back against the worst of it. Yeah. And by pushing back at the state level, they get people thinking, wait a minute, you mean the states actually have a role to play in things? Right, Yes, right. they do. Yeah. That, that was the original design. Yeah. But then beyond that, I was talking about, you know, what, what can we do right now right. Uh, that might incrementally move things forward? And I think sometimes we think if we don't win everything in one big victory, right. then it's all for naught. But yeah. then we're just going to be discouraged. Right. We have to have reasonable expectations, but start chipping away on smaller things. So I talked about uh, thinking about local offices that most people overlook yep. or they have a very, very low vote total. You could easily sweep sure. in. And, and these are, in some cases, these are even positions like uh, judge, sheriff, school board, right. where you can really, really make a change for the better. Focus uh, uh, in on that. Right. Uh, and then I also talked about as individuals. I mean, we have to think about, um, you know, we've been put in a very hard position. Sure. We've been put in a position where prices are rising through no fault of our own. Right, right, right. Um, we've seen that your job can be jeopardized and taken away from you completely arbitrarily just like that. Right. We're, we're trying to get our kids educated without having their minds colonized. Right, right, right. So, what, so I talked about some of the work I've been doing to yeah. help people cope with that. I mean, yeah. I, I've written all the books I can write on libertarianism, right. written all the articles I can write on it. But in terms of what can we actually accomplish yeah. for problems that are literally keeping people up at night, right. that's going to be our focus. Yeah. I, I know as libertarians, we like to be very independent and liberty-minded, yet we tend to look at the big national problems and say, it's too big, it's too oppressive, we can't do anything about it, but we should be thinking more local. Yeah, because you, you, as we saw during COVID, yeah. it's surprising how much power is still at the local level. Yeah. I kind of thought federalism was dead. Yeah. But we saw there were at least a handful of governors who said, we're going to let you live your life. Right. And what's more important than that? Right. Yeah. So that's why I want to build on that yeah. and differentiate some states from others so we can maybe naturally sort ourselves right. and gravitate toward ones that reflect what we believe. I mean, you were even talking about people just wanting to lose weight or bettering their business. This isn't doesn't have to be high-minded ideals and goals. These are very simple, very achievable things to live a, a more freer life. Right. I have a website. It's called TomSchoolOfLife.com. Yeah. And in there, we are working together to help each other achieve these goals, to become yeah. financially independent, to become healthier, to eat better, to, you know, whatever, learn a new language. Whatever your goal is, Beautiful. we encourage you. We give you the connections you need. And we're, you know, and that's that works. I think that's fantastic, and that's something that we definitely need. So, Tom Woods, thank you so much. Very much appreciate it. My pleasure, it. man. Thank you.